Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can change many characteristics of the appearance of all or any part of the text within your document. You can change the font face and size of the text. You can also bold, italicize, or underline text as well as change its alignment within your document. Before you can apply any of these changes, however, you must first select the text that you want to change. You can click and drag over the text to select it. The text that is selected will then receive the changes that you make to its appearance. Non-selected text will not be changed. Once the text is selected, you can click any of the formatting buttons to apply changes to the text. In Windows 8.1, the text formatting buttons all appear within the font and paragraph button groups on the Home tab within the ribbon above the document window. Within this button group, you can click the Font Family drop-down, which is the first choice in the Font button group, to see and select the typeface that you want to use for the text. You can click the Font Size drop-down to select a font size for the selected text. Clicking the bold button makes the selected text wider and darker. Clicking the italic button will slant the selected text to the right. Clicking the underline button will place a line under the selected text. You can click the text color drop down button to open a color selector drop down menu and change the color of the selected text by clicking the desired color in the menu that appears. You can set text alignment using the buttons that appear in the paragraph button group on the home tab within the ribbon. Clicking any of the alignment buttons will change the alignment of the selected text. The four paragraph alignment buttons are Align Text Left, Center, Align Text Right, and Justify. The Justify alignment aligns both the right and left sides of a paragraph, except for the last line, which is left aligned. In this same button group, is the Start a List button. By highlighting lines of text that have a paragraph mark made by pressing the Enter key at the end of each line in the list between them, and then clicking this button, you can add bullet symbols to the start of each line within a typed list of items. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.